This is an exciting day. We've got a mail call video and maybe we should start a whole new mail call series where we unbox the things that we get in that we're so excited about. Normally we would take a server or something and unbox it and take you through the build and the processors and the DRAM and all the other fun things and what we did with it. Today, we haven't done anything and there is no second video later that will meld together to make a wonderful unboxing video. This is just pure unbridled excitement of this box. Just came in from FedEx. It is full of goodies, storage magnificentness. If you see the picture over the top of my shoulder, this is the inside of the Solidime P5336 SSD. That's the 61.44 terabyte QLC SSD. We've reviewed this drive already. We had one of the 61.44 terabyte drives in the P5336. It's a great QLC drive. Obviously the headline is the massive capacity. Now we've got this box in. This is what we're excited about. We think we've got 32 of those drives in here. Our first one was an engineering sample. We might have actual shipping drives in here. That's why I'm excited. That's why this box is here. And that's why we're gonna rip it open and see what's in there today. Now, the headline of course is 61.44 terabytes per drive, which is really cool. But with 32 of those, that's, Vince, do some fancy math for me on the screen. But I think it's just about two petabytes of storage. So two petabytes of storage in a box this size is unconscionable considering where we were with hard drives just a couple years ago. It was a big freaking deal, BFD, to hit a one petabyte array. You know, the Ceph guys were running around talking about petabyte, 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 you know, that's the thing. We're talking about two petabytes in this box. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the good stuff here, guys. The smell of the storage in this box is almost erotic if you're a storage nerd like us. But we've got the uh, packing materials though, there and the clamshells. Oh, I was gonna see if I could get them out in one big swoop, but no, oh! Shit. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That was my moment of, uh, I don't know, a certain friend of ours on YouTube that's good at making messes. The good news is these are solid state drives and while Kevin scrambles to pick up whichever ones I just dropped, I have certainly had my first moment of YouTube idiocy. Okay, let's move on and pretend that didn't happen. What we do have is mostly packaged uh, P5336 SSDs, the 61.44s, the Solidime purple sticker here, and really uh, mostly packaged is true. It looks like we have two that might have uh, jumped out of their packaging in their little journey to the floor. Uh, thankfully though, doesn't appear to be any physical damage and we've got 32 like I said and uh, Kevin did the math for me in the background. He says it's uh, 1966, what is that? Terabytes? So we've got the two down that are gonna be okay, trust me, trust me. They'll be fine. We've got 30 still in the clamshells, again with the uh, full shipping package and Solidime branding. So with 32 of these drives, we're at 1,966 terabytes raw, according to the math Kevin did. And that puts us just a hair short of two petabytes in this one box. But we still do have our one engineering sample. The first one we ever did, the, the review model, the one that we cracked open to make fancy social media videos to show 61.44 terabytes of uh, flash in one drive. So this plus these 32 gets us well over the two petabyte range. And that's before we worry about any software data reduction or, or any uh, space efficiency that would be available in any of the softwares or, or anything else we use. What's our plan now? Well, first we've got to check and make sure these two are okay. I'd love to blame somebody else, but that was entirely my fault of trying to fit too many SSDs into one hand. Don't try that at home. Step two is going to be to take these drives and we've got a number of different platforms. Some are in the rack behind me, some are coming inbound right now. We've got all these new CPUs from AMD and Intel and even another one coming in that'll be a bit of a surprise that we'll be checking out soon as well. So we wanna see how these massive SSDs play in a bunch of different environments. We've got several ideas on how to leverage these SSDs. We're gonna even share these out to some of the members on our Discord server who wanna get in there and play hands-on with AI, massive data footprints. So if you're interested in playing along with us, make sure you're in the Discord server. I'll link that in the comments. For now, again, Kevin, we need to check those two, but get the other 30 in the system and, uh, or a variety of systems and get to work. Thanks for tuning in.